back. How to start a business. First, you want to find out what it is you want to do. Whether you want to sell products, whether you want to sell a service, either of which you want to decide fully. After that, you want to make sure you think of a name. This name that you think of, someone else may have thought of the same name. So you want to check to see if it's available in your state. Um, if you plan to do business outside of your state, you want to make sure it's available within the United States or maybe even worldwide before you go you know, using the name, making someone else famous or even getting sued. Make sure you check to see if it's available. Also, you want to design a logo um, that represents your business. You can pay a designer online, Fiverr.com, for example. They can get back with you, get you a logo. Um, you'll need that, especially if you want to copyright your name. A name and a logo goes hand in hand. If you want to copyright, make sure that's something that only you can use. Also, you want to register as an LLC. An LLC is a formation that limits your personal liability and legally separates you from your business. You from your business, okay? Next thing, within your city, you wanna register your business and get a business license. It's gonna be registered for your state. This business license that you're gonna get that's gonna cover you in your state, it makes your business legal. Also, if you're an LLC, you can also do business as another name. Therefore, you essentially have two names, but still be able to do business legally within that state. You wanna apply for a free EIN number. I said free EIN number. If you go searching online how to require one, a lot of the companies are gonna try to charge you for it. Um, it's free. I'll link in the description where you need to apply for it at the IRS website. But once you apply for it, you usually get it right then and there. You can then start using it. The EIN is uh, the social security number, if you will, for the business. Like you have a social that ties just to you and represents you same thing with the business. This EIN number will representing or differentiating your business from others. Also, you'll register with your tax website or the state will make sure that they get their money. They're gonna let you do business, but the state is gonna get their share as well. Also, that leads me to my next point, which is tax exempt. Um, some businesses are tax exempt. Some businesses can qualify for tax exempt purchases. There's uh, things you need for the business you purchase without tax, it's not required. Also things if you're a reseller, uh, you can buy the items without tax. But of course, when you do sell them, you then collect the tax and pay it to the state, right? Also, you wanna get a business checking account. You don't wanna use your personal checking account for any of this. Uh, you wanna have an established business account, therefore it will take care of any business expenses if you have to pay employees, things of that nature. And usually, you know, depending on the bank, you have to be open for business for a while, for a certain length of time before they'll let you establish that account. So you may have to go personal uh, until you establish your business account. You'll need a virtual address if you don't have a commercial address. You don't wanna type your home address and look have people come into your home when you know, you actually not doing business at the home, maybe you're mobile. You wanna have a virtual address to receive all your mail and packages, uh, things of that nature. Also a virtual phone number. These things make you look more professional. Virtual phone number, so you're not using your cell phone, not using your home phone. Also a website, kinda goes with the, with the profile. If you have a website that's already established, everything kinda goes in line. Um, a professional email. If you don't know what that is, it's not a Gmail address, it's not a Yahoo uh, email address. Um, I got mine when I signed up for my website. I set everything up and it's easy. It's just, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. Once you get the website, you sign up for the professional email. And again, it looks makes you look a little bit more professional. Social media accounts. This is real huge. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Yelp, LinkedIn. You know, if you have all of these set up, beforehand it's going to make the last step a little bit easier because when you're filling out this information you have to have all these items already established now the last thing i'm going to talk about in this video is applying for a free duns number now if you want to do business legally in your state maybe you're not thinking of going any more states or maybe you are and you've established yourself and you want to stop and just do business legal you can stop there 
But um, if you want to uh, establish credit for your business, you're going to definitely need a DUNS number. You know, this number will establish your business credit and you'll be able to check your credit history with your business just like you would under your regular credit file. Uh, with the DUNS number, it does take usually about 30 business days sometimes to get the number. So you'll want to make sure that you have all the items that I told you about in this video already set up prior to applying for a DUNS number makes the process easier. I said it normally takes about 30 days because that's what their website says. I got mine a lot sooner than that because I had all of these things already set up. Um, I mean, it's, it's there, the opportunity is there, especially if you already have this on your mind, this idea. Maybe you don't know if it's gonna work. Um, you'll never know if you don't try. That's the first step. You have to actually go and try. If um, no one's gonna actually invest, you, you know, you're gonna find that out. But you won't know unless you first invest in yourself. That's the best advice I can give you when it comes to starting a business. Because in order to start it, you literally have to do some legwork. All of the things that I outlined in this video will help you get started. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if God say the same, we're gonna continue this. It's another um, chapter. This is going to be business credit, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. I've hyped it up a lot outside of the um, outside of YouTube. I definitely want to get into it because it's it's definitely needed in these times. So, at the end of the day, thank you for stopping by. <laughs>